Simultaneous equations, the method of substitution. We introduced simultaneous equations and discussed how we solve them with the method of elimination in the previous video. In this video, we will discuss a second method of solving simultaneous equations, the method of substitution. In the method of substitution, we make one of the unknowns the subject of the formula. We substitute this in the second equation. We solve the resulting simple equation for one unknown. And then we substitute this unknown in any of the other equations to determine the second unknown. I will now work through the same four examples from the previous video. Example 1. 2x plus y is equal to 7. We call that equation 1. And x minus 2y is equal to 1. Equation 2. We can make y the subject of the formula in one step in equation 1. From equation 1, we get subtracting 2x on both sides. We get y is equal to 7 minus 2x. Now we substitute y is equal to 7 minus 2x in the second equation, in the other equation. To get x minus 2 multiplied by 7 minus 2x is equal to 1. Now we have a simple equation in only one unknown, x. Expanding the brackets to simplify, we get x minus 14 plus 4x is equal to 1. x plus 4x is equal to 5x. And now we're going to remove the negative 14 from the left-hand side because we're trying to make x the subject of the formula. Adding 14 to both sides, negative 14 add positive 14 is equal to 0. 1 plus 14 is equal to 15. Dividing both sides by 5, the 5's cancel to leave x and 15 divided by 5 is equal to 3. We get that x is equal to 3. Now we substitute x is equal to 3 in any one of the equations. Substituting in equation 1, we get 2 multiplied by 3 plus y is equal to 7. 6 plus y is equal to 7. To make y the subject of the formula, we subtract 6 on both sides. 6 subtract 6 is equal to 0. 7 subtract 6 is equal to 1. y is equal to 1. Example 2. 3x minus 2y is equal to 19, we'll call this equation 1. 2x plus 3y is equal to 4, we call it equation 2. We'll make x the subject of the formula in equation 1. From equation 1, we're going to add 2y to both sides. To remain with 3x is equal to 19 plus 2y. Now we're going to divide both sides by 3. The trees would cancel to remain with x on the left hand side. Now we substitute x is equal to 19 plus 2y over 3 in equation 2, in the second equation, to get 2 multiplied by 19 plus 2y over 3 plus 3y is equal to 4. Expanding the brackets to simplify, we get 38 over 3 plus 4y over 3 plus 3y is equal to 4. We multiply by 3 to remove the fractions. We get 38 plus 4y plus 9y is equal to 12. 4y plus 9y is equal to 13y. We subtract 38 from both sides. 12 minus 38 is equal to negative 26. And we divide both sides by 13. 13 divided by 13 is equal to 1. And negative 26 divided by 13 is equal to negative 2. y is equal to negative 2. Now we can substitute y is equal to negative 2 in any one of the equations. Substituting in equation 1, we get 3x minus 2 multiplied by negative 2 is equal to 19. Negative 2 by negative 2 is equal to positive 4. 3x plus 4 is equal to 19. We want to make x the subject of the formula, so we're going to minus 4 on both sides first. 4 subtract 4 is equal to 0. 19 subtract 4 is equal to 15. Dividing both sides by 3, the trees cancel to leave x on the left hand side and 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5. x is equal to 5. The solution to this simultaneous equation is x is equal to 5 and y is equal to negative 2. A third example, we have 3x plus y is equal to 2, equation 1, and 4x plus 3y is equal to 3, equation 2. It is easiest to make y the subject of the formula in equation 1. From equation 1, 
we can subtract 3x on both sides. So it's 3x plus y minus 3x is equal to 2 minus 3x. 3x minus 3x is equal to 0. So we are left with y is equal to 2 minus 3x. So now we can substitute y is equal to 2 minus 3x in equation 2. Substituting y is equal to 2 minus 3x in equation 2. We get 4x plus 3 multiplied by y. Now y is 2 minus 3x is equal to 3. So now we have a simple equation and only one unknown in x. We're going to solve for x. So we expand the brackets to simplify. 4x positive 3 multiplied by 2 is positive 6. Positive 3 multiplied by negative 3x is equal to negative 9x is equal to 3. 4x minus 9x is equal to negative 5x plus 6 is equal to 3. So we're going to subtract 6 from both sides. Minus 5x plus 6 minus 6 is equal to 3 subtract 6. Positive 6 minus 6 is equal to 0. So we get negative 5x is equal to 3 subtract 6 is negative 3. Divide both sides by negative 5. Negative 5 and negative 5 cancel off to remain with x. I mean, what a negative divided by a negative is equal to a positive. x is equal to 3 over 5. So now we're going to substitute. x is equal to 3 over 5 in any one of the equations. So let's substitute in equation 1. We get 3 multiplied by 3 over 5. plus y is equal to 2. 3 multiplied 3 over 5 is equal to 9 over 5. Plus y is equal to 2. We minus 9 over 5 from both sides. 9 over 5 plus y minus 9 over 5 is equal to 2 minus 9 over 5. 9 over 5 minus 9 over 5 is equal to 0. So you mean it y is equal to 2 minus 9 over 5. It's equal to 1 fifth. I could work it out to show you. The LCM, 2 is the same as 2 over 1. The LCM of 1 and 5 is 5. To get 2 over 1 as a fraction over 5, we multiply the denominator by 5 to get 5, and we multiply the numerator by the same. So 2 multiplied by 5 is equal to 10. And 5, we already have the fraction over 5, so that remains 9 over 5. 10 subtract 9 is equal to 1. So we get that y is equal to 1 fifth. So the solution to this simultaneous equation is x is equal to 3 fifths, y is equal to 1 fifth. And a fourth and final example, we have 5x plus 6y is equal to 37, we call that equation 1, and we have 2x minus 3y is equal to 4, equation 2. We're going to make x the subject of the formula from equation 2 just to mix it up. From equation 2, from equation 2, if we add 3 y's to both sides, we get 2x minus 3y added to 3y is equal to 4 added to 3y. Negative 2y plus 3y is equal to 0. So we get 2x is equal to 4 plus 3y. We divide both sides by 2. To remain with x. So we get that x is equal to 4 plus 3y over 2. So we're going to substitute x is equal to 4 plus 3y over 2 in the other equation. Substituting in equation 1. We get 5 by x which is 4 plus 3y over 2 plus 6y is equal to 37. So we have a simple equation and only one unknown in y. So we can solve for y. 
expand in the brackets to simplify. 5 multiplied by 4 is equal to 20. 20 over 2 is equal to 10. 5 multiplied by 3y is equal to 15y. 15y over 2. We multiply by 2 to simplify the equation. 20 plus 15y plus 12y is equal to 74. 15y plus 12y is equal to 27y is equal to 74. So we're going to subtract 20 from both sides to remain with the y term alone on the left hand side. Twenty subtract twenty is equal to zero, so we mean a twenty seven y is equal to seventy four minus twenty is equal to fifty four. And we divide both sides by twenty seven. Fifty four divided by twenty seven is two. Y is equal to two. So we substitute y is equal to two in any one of the equations. Let's substitute it in equation two. We get two x minus 3y which is 2 is equal to 4 and we can solve the simple equation we get 2x minus 6 is equal to 4 we add 6 to both sides negative 6 plus 6 is equal to 0 2x is equal to 4 plus 6 is equal to 10. Dividing both sides by 2, we get x is equal to 5. That is it for this video. I am Mr. Dubey. If you found this video helpful, if you appreciate what I'm trying to do on this channel, please like this video. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe. Join me in the next video.